Today's near-death experience was emailed to me by Sandy Alabastro. As English is not Sandy's first language, it has been altered slightly for grammatical context with full permission from Sandy. Months ago, September 20th, 2021, I almost died. Yes, in a way I never ever thought would ever happen to me. Me and my husband got into a fight September 20th around 6 p.m. It was a very severe fight, one of the worst in the history of our marriage, as this fight involved my parents. My heart was totally broken that I didn't know how to fix it. Therefore, I thought of something that could help me escape from that very awful situation. I almost committed suicide. Cut my wrist off. In front of him. I can feel the blood flushing through my wrist. After a minute or so, I collapsed. I felt my body getting weaker and weaker. He rushed me in the hospital. In my most precious moments I prayed. I prayed to our Almighty One that I surrender everything to His mighty power, and I am really sorry for trying to commit suicide. I asked God to please save my life so that I could help others in need. As I was lying on my deathbed in the hospital, I remembered I couldn't even move an inch of me or even open my eyes. I was crying in guilt and apologizing to God for what I had done as I knew it was unacceptable. The doctors treated me, and I was sent home. After I got home, as I lay on our couch because my husband was very angry about what I had done, he wouldn't even speak to me. On crying on the couch remembering all the pain that led me to that very situation, I closed my eyes with tears and a broken heart, talking to God about what had happened. Then in the blink of my eyes, I woke up in heaven. Yes, in heaven. It wasn't an NDE because I survived. How did I know I was in heaven? My heart tells, I was in heaven. My consciousness tells me I was in heaven, with God. All I could see in any direction was dazzling white. Everything was white. All beautiful clouds surrounded me. From a distance I saw a very huge, silver light blue to purple gate. Everything was so bright that you could not even see what was beyond it. I can't really tell the exact color of the gate, as the color does not exist here on earth. It was so long that I couldn't see its end. Picture the most expensive gate you can see here on earth. It had an ancient Greek-Roman architecture to me and is so complicated to describe. At this point, I could not see my physical form at all. There were beautiful clouds everywhere. Everywhere I looked, all I could see were shiny clouds and that extraordinary gate. I am conscious that I am me at that time. I also know that I just got in heaven. Everything is so clear to me. As I was standing some distance from that extraordinary gate, a very powerful light is shining from the right side of that gate. Plenty of little creations with transparent wings are happily and peacefully flying at the top of it. My heart knows their angels dancing in the atmosphere. I know it's him, Jesus. He's at those foggy white glittery clouds, though I never seen his face, but you know, how your soul knew someone without even looking at his face. Yes, that's exactly what I felt. Mere seconds of standing there, and I was at peace. It was a peace you have never ever felt before. A peace that I never expected to feel. I could feel his love. He does not care who you are or what you were in your past life. His love is beyond measure. Overflowing joy was felt too. Winning billions in the lottery could not have matched the feeling. I didn't feel any negative energies during that time. No pain, no hatred, no grudges, no nothing. I couldn't even remember my family, and I didn't have a feeling of wanting to leave ever because I really loved what I was seeing and feeling there. It was magical, pure love. No finite mind can really describe it. I was crying because of his glory. My goal was to enter that gate, but he never let me in. I couldn't move. I couldn't talk. I couldn't hear any sound, but had a feeling that God talked to me by my heart alone. No words were spoken, but I knew what he wanted me to do. It was like a telepathic conversation with Jesus. He told me that he loves me no matter what. He showed me an unconditional love that I never ever felt here on earth. He told me that I am forgiven 
and that he has washed away all my sins. He reminded me that I am truly loved by him. My heart truly understood what he was saying to my heart and to my soul. Then I began to weep saying, God, I don't deserve this kind of treatment from you. I almost fell to my knees worshiping and glorifying him, but I wasn't in a physical form. How can that be? After a brief time, something distracts me that keeps my eyes from the other direction. Then, I woke up. I remembered my daughter. She woke me up from that reality. No, it's not a dream. It really happened. My vision from then has changed. Heaven is real. It is as if I were reborn. As John 3, 3 said, Truly I tell to you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. From that moment on, I was reborn by the Holy Spirit. Now I'm more into God and Jesus than ever. I can't even wait for the day to return in that holy place. It's never too late to repent. He has promised paradise, and it really does exist and is waiting for all of us. That concludes Sandy's NDE. I made as few changes as possible to keep her story as true as the words she wrote to me. I want to take a moment to thank Sandy for bringing her experience to us and allowing this channel to make the necessary changes to the sentence structure and bring it to you. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel grow and helps us reach more viewers. Thank you and God bless.